hello to all of my beautiful subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for the likes, shares, comments, as well as subscribes. It is hot out here. Hot in here, hot out here. It's hot outside. Okay, make sure you guys get some air today. Okay, and be in the sun. Go out in the sun. Okay. Or you could just get the sun from in front. Of like if it peeks through your window. Look. Confirmation said two. So let's see what's going on. This will be general. So take messages that resonate. Do not try to force anything to fit if it doesn't resonate. Some of you guys could be getting a new job or applying for a new job. Okay. Let's see. I don't know why I just heard rituals. Someone is heavy and heavily into rituals. I'm hot, y'all. Just give me one second. Okay. Let's see. So I'm also going to be trying to astral travel to you. Or you could be learning how to astral travel. Or you're doing more of astral travel. So let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Oh, that one didn't want to. Be mindful of someone wanting to fight and argue with you, okay? You can have, like, somebody that's obsessed with being you, being like you, copying off you with this comparison card that came out. So you definitely have a lot of people that's trying to copy off you, be you, or be like you. I don't freaking know what this is. But it's like this person is trying to hide the fact that they want to be you. Because you see how it's like... This is covering or blocking the front view. But you can see clearly, like, people can see you clearly for who you are. Like, the, the, the screens and the smoke screens are clear about you. But with this person, it's like they hiding something. Okay? It's like they going up with, they going against, say like this person is a 1990, say like a 1992 or 19... <laughs> Or at 17, any type of old ass Volkswagen, and you are the new Volkswagen. So somebody is definitely trying to compare your old self to your new self. Or this could be someone that is in like an old outdated belief system and they're trying to compete with you or compare their self to you. Okay. This person is stuck to their old ways, they don't want to change. Okay. Let's get some more messages. Somebody is like definitely trying to compare everything you do to them. Oh, somebody is trying to portray to be you. Okay. So be mindful. Yeah, I see the karmic just came up. So be mindful of people making fake accounts to be you, act like you. Okay. If anybody got a fake account of me, it's not me. Point blank period. You're being scammed all the way. So if you've been getting hit up by fake accounts and you think you are socializing with me or whatever the case may be, you're not. Point blank period. Okay? You just got duped. Okay? We got evil. I'm telling you, somebody doesn't like you. They hate you with a passion. And they send a lot of negative energy towards you. But because you didn't change so much from your old self or from being the old you, it can't touch you. Like your view of your mirror and your your uh, actual mirror is clear. Like you might see through these people or know who these people are. Somebody wants to talk to you and say, we need to talk. Somebody wants to take you out for brunch, okay, or for some coffee. Yeah, we got Divine Feminine, okay. Someone could also be trying to portray to be a Divine Feminine. Or someone wants to be in that Divine Feminine energy. Okay, being in the divine feminine energy is not about what you look like, your appearance, what you have, what you got. Being in the divine feminine energy is about how pure you are as a person, regardless if people are sending you negativity or people are sending you ill will. It's all about your heart space. People got to understand that. Okay, people are so quick to judge somebody on materialistic shit. I can look down the street and see somebody that probably look better than me. But they could be fucked up and evil and it's at 444 was just on the clock. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's all about balance. Okay, you got a lot of people talking about you. Like, somebody can have all the shit in the world and the whole time they could be a fucked up, evil-ass person. 
But y'all probably still think that person is a divine feminine or divine masculine. No, you're not. It's all about your heart space. You can't sit around and do evil shit to somebody and then expect to be in a higher position than that person. No, it don't work that way. I need for people to understand that, yeah, materialistic, you're not materialistic. It's in reverse. Okay? People are trying to, like, find secrets about you or trying to blackmail you or people are trying to figure out your skeletons or who you were as a person in the past or what you used to do just to make up shit about you or just to embarrass you. Like, you already been through humility. You know what humility is? Okay? I get the energy. Spirit is humbling these people. Yeah, you. Out the window, baby. Watch out. Ah. Okay, excuse me. This is crazy. Yeah, it's coming to an end. All of these people are spiritually dead. They don't have a soul. Okay? And they're trying to, like, attach their soul to you or compare their soul to you because they want everybody to see them as in a light that they're not in. Like, I, I, I can't explain it, y'all. And I just was having this conversation when I was just recently over a close friend of mine's uh, house. And I was saying half of that shit, like, people got to understand that you can't just go around plotting and planning on people and then you sit back in the background to wait to see if it works. Obviously, it's not working. That will give you a sign or an indication to just stop what you're doing because all it's doing is just cursing your like cursing your life and your generations to come after you so say for instance you got kids your child is gonna go through all the shit that you try to put on somebody else so say like if you've been wishing death on people or you've been wanting this person to this that and the third that same shit that you wishing on that person will happen to your kids like you gotta understand that shit like you just can't go around just thinking you can do any and everything because it might not hit your child now it will hit them when they get older So y'all got to like chill out with that shit. It's not that serious to have so much hate and envy towards people because they know how to be at peace and they know how to detach and focus on themselves. Like everybody is so worried about the next person. You could just, all that time you focus on somebody else, you can focus on you. Hmm? What? Hey. Yeah, we got seeing through the fog. You're seeing right through the illusions of these people that keep trying to throw onto you like you're not in the vet like the veil has been removed from your eyes like you see clearly you're very conscious and aware you're awakened you know what's going on with these people places and things okay like they could be mad and upset because you actually can see okay and it's not with your physical eyes it's with your spiritual eye like people are just slow out here we got thanksgiving in reverse Okay, something about you, what you're eating. Be mindful, okay, from eating from people or eating or leaving your food around people. You just take it where it resonates with this evil eye and this food right here with this Thanksgiving card. Or something could have happened around Thanksgiving or pertaining to Thanksgiving. Okay. You could also be getting a new car or getting your car repo. What I'm here, repossessed? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Somebody also could be ha having a lot of DUI tickets. Yeah, we got receipts. Somebody is definitely trying to, like, get into your life. They're trying to connect to other people that's around you to get some dirt on you. I'm hearing that song, I Heard You, My Dirty Little Secret. But skeletons in reverse, you don't have no skeletons because you are truthful and honest about whatever it is that you do. So it's hard to pick up or to get dirt on somebody that's not afraid to talk about whatever it is that they done, they did, or what they do. That's the thing. Only motherfuckers that's running from their own demons will be trying to uh, find dirt on you. It's just not working. Yeah, we got fake friends. I'm telling you. Somebody trying to connect to your friends or your friends from the past to figure out. Or your fake friends could be trying to connect to someone that's around you, close to you, to get figure out what you're doing. Like, they really need to mind their business. They're fat. Like, I just recently, not to sit up here, because I'm always the type of person that, even if I don't talk to you and I haven't talked to you in a long time, right, I might check up on you to see how you've been or how you're doing. You still look the same. You still doing the same shit. There's nothing about you that's growing or glowing. Like, people got to understand that. Like, half of these people that I had as friends, or I used to affiliate myself with, 
They all washed up now. I'm just going to be honest. We ain't going to sit up here and fake. I ain't going to sugarcoat and fake like I like they doing they doing good cuz they're not. And these was all the people that was wishing ill on me, that hated me, that went against me. Oh, you're not my friend. This then the third, blah blah blah, and it's like, bruh, I was never pressed for you to be any of those things towards me or to me. I just wanted you to show me if loyalty was there or not. But time and time again, you showed me that it wasn't because you was a hater in the background. You've been hating from the jump. Always trying to be me or trying to portray to be like somebody that you're not. And then when that person get around you by themselves or chill with you, you stupid as shit. You don't know nothing. You dumb as a door. Like... People got, and it's not for me to be mean and nasty. It's like, we got to be real with ourselves here. Like, all these people that try to portray to be like you or want to mimic you, copy you, or talk down on you or talk bad about you, and then the same people that they around that they saying this shit to, you get around them, they don't know shit. They don't. Like, they still spiritually sleep or spiritually dead or whatever the case may be, 11, 11 on the clock. So because they can't pick up nothing bad about you or on you, they try to bring up dirt that you did years ago. Like, you already paid off your karmic dues for that. People got to understand that shit. They still doing the same shit. And they wonder why their life is miserable. Like, I'm going to need for people to, like, realize, understand and realize what is it that you're doing here or what is it that you're wanting to do. Because things are changing, it's not going to continue to be the same. We got to understand that. The same way the world grows and changes, we have to do that as people in order to evolve. Or you're going to just perish and die like the rest of these people that don't have a soul and don't have nothing to live for. You just got to figure out what's your purpose for yourself of being here on this earth. Not sitting up here saying that you got to have all the money in the world and be known and be popular or everybody know you from this block, this neighborhood. No, it's really like where your heart lies when it comes to being a being of the world. Like, come on now. I just need people to understand that shit. Because I can know a lot of people and whole time, them people don't even fuck with me or they don't even like me. And I can know uh, less people than you and it's a lot of people that want to get to know me. A lot of people that want to fuck with me. You get what I'm saying? Like, so that shit don't mean nothing. That shit don't mean nothing. You knowing all these people and having a lot of people fuck with you. Just that and the third, that shit don't mean nothing. Because where they at? They are nowhere to be found. Like, people got to understand that shit. Like, I'd rather be to myself or be by myself, right? And then, look, and then Purify came out. Yeah, because you're pure. I'd rather be by myself for a minute then when I pop out, hop out, and show face. Then you see the love. Because you got to give people chance and time to miss you, to want to be around you, to want to engage and interact with you. You up around this person all day, 24-7, like a group of friends or whatever the case may be, you're going to get annoyed because you're going to start absorbing their energy. You're going to start sucking in their energy. And not all energy is good energy to absorb. So that's why it's best and it's cool for us to go into isolation or to just isolate ourselves overall from people, places, and things. You could be seeing a lot of synchronicities. If you are seeing a lot of synchronicities, it's because you're aligned with the universe. So you're going to continue to see synchronicities repeat repetitively. Okay? And I was just telling uh, somebody else as well. I was like, I don't be trying to say too much. Because you will know if you're aligned because you will see the sun and the moon together. You will see, like, you will see the sun in one direction, you'll see the moon in another direction. That's how you know you're alive because you will see it. The universe will mold things together for you to pay attention and see. Okay? That's why seeing through the fog is here. Your vision is getting clearer. Like, you see and you know what's going on. Stop, bully. Hey. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, change and embracing. You're embracing the change. You're not afraid of change. Most people are afraid of change because they're adapted to something for so long that they wouldn't know where to start. Like, you have to just jump yourself out there. That's the point. That's the purpose of being the fool. Okay? Only fools take risk, and it depends on the risk that you're taking. 
Yeah, opportunities. Y'all got a lot of opportunities coming towards you. And you're gaining a lot of wisdom and knowledge. Okay? You're forgiving a lot of people, places, and things in order for your soul to be at peace. When you forgive people, places, and things, it's for your soul's ascension so you can continue to move on up. Because when it's time for you to go and it's time for you to be called home, you don't have to. You will not be sitting up here in the spirit on the earthly realm trying to find your way. Because you done already forgave all these people that was up against you or caused you harm. That's why people got to understand. Yes? <laughs> you want to be in the camera? Hold on, y'all. Ooh. Sit right in. That's why people have to understand here. That you have to be able to forgive these people. So when it's time for you to pass over and pass on, you won't be stuck here. Okay? Lost, trying to find your way out because you still holding on to what somebody did to you years ago. Like, get over that shit. Forgive those people, forgive them, and keep it moving. Yeah, love and openness. Everything I'm saying is just popping out for me in the comments. Yeah, and go with the flow. Like, you are illuminated because you're light. Hmm? What, baby? Hmm. Because it's like the moon within you, whatever secrets or hidden things that was about you or that you try to keep hidden is like you're not even afraid of it anymore. You're facing it. You're illuminating it to people. Like you faced your fears and shit like that. So if you was to be, like if you was to go home or pass over and pass off, like you wouldn't even be tripping. Then we got the power card. I'm telling you, you take back your power and control. Because there's nothing here. There's nothing to hold on to. These people that we got as friends and family or whatever the case may be, we was just born into that friend group or we was just born into that family. Like, they not really our family. You have to figure out where your family is. For real. Okay. Oh, I ain't trying to get too deep into it, but it's to the point where we have karmic family members and karmic relatives. So when you have a relative that's so envious of you and they just, all they do is shiesty shit. All their life, all they did was shiesty shit toward you. That give you a sign of indication like you's an enemy. Like people got to pay attention here. Like I'm not telling y'all what to do towards y'all friends and family, but you really have to use your spiritual eyes with these people because these people are not who they are just because they look like what they look like in the flesh. Like, no, you got to see them spiritually for what they is and who they are to you. And then you choose how to maneuver or operate around these people. Like, enlightenment, I'm telling you. Like, once you know who these people are to you, you'll know how to maneuver around them. You'll know how to do shit. You'll know what to say, what not to say. You'll know how to act. And you'll know what to do and what not to do. 18, 18 on the clock. Point blank curve. Okay? Yeah, we have release. You got to release these people, places, and things. Or you got to release whatever mindset that was keeping you stuck with these people, places, and things. Because some of these people are unhealthy for us. Like, they really are. Like, you should not want to be in a house full of negative-ass people. All they only want to do is hoop, holler, compete with each other, and, and take from each other and shit like that. That's not family. That's not what family do. Family is supposed to love you, support you, and be there for you. Not sit up here and try to cause war and havoc in your life because they're going through war spiritually. Because they don't know who they are spiritually. Like, I'm going to need for people to really take several seats. Hmm? What you want to do? You want your ball? Like, I just really, like, when I was doing some research, because I've been chilling for the last past couple of days and been on YouTube. So, what I had discovered was, you know how they say the mark of the beast is 666. 666. And this is definitely a premonition I have. This is the truth. 666 is really not the mark of the beast. If you, okay, and how can I say it? Let me slow down because the download is coming in so fast and I don't want to sound like I'm all over the place. Basically, the actual number of the mark of the beast is 616. That is the actual mark of the beast number, the Antichrist. So, before my son was born, I'm going to tell y'all. 
before my son was born, I had a dream of my son. I'm going to just be quiet. We ain't about to do that. Anyway, if you know, you know. But we ain't about to do that. Anywho, let's see. Let's get some more messages. It must wasn't meant for me to say it because my spirit guys cut me off. They like as long as I know. So, we got diligence, okay? Listening to that inner guidance. Listening to that inner wisdom within yourself. Knowing that you are spiritually guided and protected. Okay? And relax. Maybe you guys need to relax. Take time out to yourself. Go do things you love to do. Okay? Because you didn't take your power back from all the chaos that people were trying to throw your way or put you in. Because you know how to stay open and willing to forgive these people. Look, we got forgiveness and then we got blessings right at the bottom. Okay? So I guess people are still trying to figure out through all the shit that they did to you, towards you, why are you still blessed or why are you still moving forward or why are you just oh that Because you operate out of purity. Oh Point yeah. purity. I can't stress this enough, y'all. Like, if you don't... <laughs> what's wrong? Get it. Excuse me, y'all. Hmm. I'm going to just put it like this. Point blank period. If you don't have pure intentions or pure murder, blah, murders, what the heck, motives towards someone or about somebody, it's best for you to just stay to yourself and fight your own demons to figure out why you feel the way that you do. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Look at her. Say hey, Dooley. Hey. <laughs> Come on, get that boy. So, all you got to do is you ask yourself, are you pure? It's just that simple. If you hear no, then that's what it is. If you hear yes, then that's what it is. It's just that simple. What's wrong? It's just listening to yourself at this point. Not what nobody else say, not what nobody else doing, or not what nobody else wants you to feel. What's wrong? You sleepy. Go to sleep. We just really got to stop trying to blend in with society to make it seem like somebody we're not. It's cool to be yourself. Like real life shit, it is. Because that's when you'll fall more in love with yourself. You're not worried about what the next person say or what they got going on towards you. And illumination, again, I tell you. Because you will already know these things. So it wouldn't even phase you. It wouldn't even bother you as much. Because it's not supposed to. When you did the work on yourself and you did enough to get over that hump that you've been holding on to for years or past baggage or whatever the case may be, it won't be as hard for you to just a, be aware of what these people, places, and things are doing and just keep moving forward. People make it harder on themselves because they let whatever people, places, and things have done to them harbor and harness their energy by being in their head all the time. 23, 23, you got to get out your head. You got to. Because that's where the war started. That's where the spiritual warfare is starting. In your head. So when you're always in your head or you always got something negative going on in your head, you're under spiritual attack. That's why it's necessary for us to heal and do the healing so we can get out of war with ourselves. Because that's all we're doing is fighting war within ourselves. Now, people can put you under... That's good. Give me one second, you guys. Okay, y'all. We just have to learn to get out of our head. Get out of our head. 24-24. We just got to get out of our head. Because <laughs> that's where the war starts. And if a person knows that they can keep you in your head or, or, or have you in your head all day, they putting you on the spiritual wolfie. <laughs> like people got to really master their mindset and master their mind. 2444. It's going to take some work. It's not going to be easy. It's not. 
That's why it's always best to do it when you when it start over as a child. Like when you're a child, you can master your own mental as a child. Because it's all about the things that you partake in and that you entertain starting from a child. Like we got to be able to like war off our own demons. Yeah, people do be trying to bring the demons out of us or bring us back to their energy to where it's the... We're fighting demons, but once you didn't already slayed your own demons within yourself and can't nobody pull those demons out of you, 25, 25, you done mastered your mental space. I be having people that be trying to test me every time, but I know it's a test from the devil and the devil is not going to prevail or win nothing over me because I'm not in his camp. I work for the most high. We ain't doing that. And I knew that since I was a child because all the things that I've been put through as a child. Everything that I experienced as a child. I knew which side I was on when I was born. So, like, we got to pay attention here, you know? But I don't have no more, nothing else to say, y'all. Like, I think I'm going to just start tapping in like this instead of using cards. Because my gifts are starting to get stronger. So, it's like, I can just intuitively just go off of what people really need to hear or what, pe what messages people need to fully understand within their self. Because we're at war every day. And that's with our mental space. So the more you stay in your head, the more the devil can control you. And take advantage of you. And use you as his little pawn or minion to do whatever it is he wants you to do. When you're clear-headed and you are at when you when you're really free, then you will know that shit won't even bother you no more. It's just that simple. I'm telling y'all, it's just that simple. So, y'all, I think I'm going to stop it here. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that bell notification. Peace.